Greetings, my name is Luke Ryan and welcome to this date in the drug war. Today is June 25th, 13 years ago, a sharply divided United States Supreme Court found a high school principal named Deborah Morris did not violate the First Amendment rights of a high school senior named Joseph Frederick when she gave Frederick a 10 day suspension. Joining me to discuss the case is Bill Newman. Bill is the director of the Western Massachusetts Office of the American Civil Liberties Union of Massachusetts, as well as the author of two books, When the War Came Home and Life on the Co-op Plan. Bill is also the host of The Bill Newman Show on WHMP and a columnist for the Daily Hampshire Gazette. Bill, thanks for joining me. Pleasure to be here, Luke. So before we get into the very uh, nuanced legal principles at the heart of this decision, um, I was hoping you could tell viewers what are the four words that inspired an opinion from Chief Justice Roberts, two concurrences from Justices Alito and Thomas, and two dissents from uh, Breyer and Stevens. What did Frederick Morris, or Joseph Frederick, decide he needed to say uh, that gave us this uh, Supreme Court opinion? Right. He said these memorable words. Actually, they were written on a large sign. Bong hits for Jesus. Now, I, I, remember, I remember when this case first came up, and it w was national news, but well before it got to the Supreme Court. And I asked a number of people, what does that mean exactly? I mean, I'm old, so tell me what it means. What does bong, hit, bong hits for Jesus mean? And I never did get a clear explanation. I, apparently this was not cultural or, or based on uh, age problems that I was suffering from. It just doesn't make a whole lot of sense. And in fact, in the case, uh, Joseph Frederick says, hey, I was goofing around. I, I really didn't have a specific uh, goal in mind. There was this large camera crew, national camera crews were there up in Alaska and Juneau. And I thought it was a great time to get on TV and to have some fun. And well, so bong hits for Jesus. But I, I wasn't really thinking through exactly what it all meant. And what happened, of course, as you know, is that the principal, that would be uh, Deborah Morse, says, that is a message that is promoting illegal drug use for youth. Well, she gets over, she wins the case uh, on the basis that Chief Justice Roberts says, well, that's not totally implausible. It could mean that. And if she thought it meant that, and she's a principal, and there's a school involved, because you can see the sign from the uh, school itself, well, then the school must have the right to censor that speech and discipline this student. Now, by the way, all the appeals they did go through, the internal appeals of the school system, which resulted in the suspension being reduced from 10 days to eight. I guess someone thought bong hits for Jesus wasn't all that serious, but it, it was still serious enough to give him the eight day suspension, which was the time he had served by, out of school by the time the case got to the school board. So that's what happened. And you're right, it, it spawned all sorts of opinions from the Supreme Court. It, the Supreme Court, in its majority opinion, reversed the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals. And the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals, had come, because the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals had come out in favor of the First Amendment and student rights. And the Ninth, Ninth Circuit, we should note, reversed the district court, federal district court, which said, nope, it's okay for the school to do this. So uh, a lot of litigation all over Bong hits for Jesus. And one other thing on this, by the way, the uh, uh, majority opinion written by Chief Justice Roberts goes out of its way, and Chief Justice goes out of his way to say, definitely it could mean this. Um, I mean, it could mean this. It could be promoting drug use, illegal drug use. Um, but he goes on at great length in the opinion to talk about how horrible uh, drugs are, and he conflates marijuana with all drugs. And it's a mission of the schools to discourage drug use. And he writes an almost Brandeisian brief on how that is an objective and an important objective of schools to discourage, to dissuade students from using drugs. And therefore, the schools have the right to prohibit, as this Juneau Alaska school system uh, did, uh, prohibit any kind of expression that encourages drug use. 
And he says that's a totally rational and a fine position for a school to have pedagogically that's really important and therefore they can enforce their rules that say, no, you can't encourage illegal drug use. Well, I don't know. I mean, I, I, I really don't know how the Chief Justice got to this. It encourages drug use. Um, but he says, I'm going to defer to the principal. She thinks it does, so I'm going to agree with the principal. Uh, which leads me to think the decision itself tends to lack principle. 